So chaos, man. How'd you get started with your whole DJing thing? You know, what I mean, you're, you're probably one of the best in the world, right? Right about now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm working towards that. Nah, you don't have to work towards that. that. I man. seen you, man. I'm, I'm so working towards that, man. I mean, hey, since I was just a little kid, man, I was just fascinated by forty fives and records and. Kid upstairs when we had some equipment. I went upstairs one day and I was just like, yo, can I watch you DJ? And yeah. And then it's like, from there it was just the rest. I was like, Dad, I want some turntables for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Woke up one morning for Christmas, they was under the tree and yeah, I'm right now. <laughs> Alright, so this there's a lot of controversy, you know. We got we got so-called real DJs, you know, who keep it on the wax and buying the records. Now we got Serato DJs, we got CD Man, DJs. Man, listen, listen. How do you feel about that? All of it is dope. It's however you choose to use it. As long as when you want it, you know how to rock it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, we all started off with turntables, but technology is a motherfucking nowadays. Yeah, so yeah. you gotta upgrade your site. I mean, don't nobody feel like carrying five, Can't six great stories. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you <laughs> can same. actually walk in a club with your laptop or your CD book, Okay. And still go through the exact same thing you would do if you had a pair of turntables. You know what I mean, like that's how I treat it all. Like I treat CDJs like a pair of 1200s. Yeah. I treat well, Serratos. I use 1200s, so yeah. it's the same thing, man. It's just lightening up your format. All right, there's, there's a lot of DJs coming up. You know what I mean, right now, because cats like you, you know, they may have heard them. Like, who is this cat? They check for you, and you sort of influence them. You know, like what what would you say to those DJs? You know, you know, 15, 16, 17 years old right now, and they, and they're looking up to you. Like, what what kind of advice would you give them? Man, just do your research, practice, uh -huh. just just dig. Yeah, just listen to music, man. Not just hip hop. Yeah. I mean, just music just, in just, general. Just listen to good music. Do your research. Find out where these samples come from. You know, make your beats and just just listen to good music. <laughs> so you are making beats too? So so give give the producers out there something like a not not even like a tip, but like a sort of like a beat making. You know. Yo, let me hey. tell you like this, man. All right. I don't want nobody sounding like me. Okay. <laughs> I don't want no album. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, you know what I mean? Just be original with your music, man. You know, make your beats. If you hear a sample that somebody used, just make sure you flipped it at least okay. three times better than them. You know what I mean? Right. Be creative with it. And then what kind of program do you use? You computer type dude? You hardware? I mean, like, yeah. I mean, I'm still, you know, I still work with the MPC 3000, you know, digital performer and all little extra perks that come with it. You, know, right. you gotta upgrade, man. Technology, man. It's a good thing. All right. We got one of the... I don't know, man. I mean, do I even have to introduce you? I mean, is that... Is that I mean, should I? I think so. The, the world might not know who I am out here. Okay. So I, I think it'd be fair. So, all right. You you tell them what what was the what, I, I look at one of the best groups that probably ever picked up a mic you know wow. you tell them that group <coughs> All right. what's the name of that group my name is Elder Sensei one half of the artifacts you know New Jersey on some of the tracks fame um, solo artist now for the last maybe six years seven years okay and um you know I got a new album out right now called the unusual plug that shit man plug it new album <laughs> in stores in all your stores Virgin Tower whatever best store you look Best Buy Elder Sensei, the unusual. That's okay. Fat Beast Records. Go ahead. It's a commercial. Don't worry about it. We all Fat good. Beast. Fat Beast Records, and um, you know, I'm, I'm still. I don't like to say I'm still here because when you make you like you said, when you make good music, you don't go nowhere and this longevity and be Thomas. Okay, so L man, you know, you like I said, you've been in the game for a while. You know what I'm saying? You've been in the game. You still keep it fresh. You still keep it new. What motivates you to do that? Because I mean, uh, the, obviously you've seen since the artifacts, since the solo career, you've seen a lot of cats come and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. come back again and go, come back again and go, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, then, and then leave forever. So what motivates you to still pick up the mic? Obviously the, 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 the crowd response is crazy, but like when you look, when you wake up every day, you know, what, what pushes you to, to keep making them songs, to keep going in the studio, keep that grind going? What motivates you? Besides Bill. <laughs> well, the fact that what you said, you know, I don't, I don't want to be one of the artists that come and go and come and go and come back. You know, I've, I've, you know, learned a lot being in the breakup as far as the group. You know, you never think it's going to happen to you. You mm -hmm. know, you don't want it to happen. But we all human. We all go through shit. And, mm -hmm. You know, people go have personal things that happen to them. You might not be knowing it, mm -hmm. but it affects you. I mean, being in a group is like being in a fucking relationship. You know what I mean? One might do more than the other. One might think he's worth more than the other. Somehow you gotta come in between when that shit don't happen. You literally just, you know, you gotta separate. And I think with, with me and Tame, you know, we both was ready to go our own ways but didn't realize it. 
and you know when I when I hear certain dudes and, and you know it motivates me to want to be better than them okay. you know it's like just to have the fire under your ass yeah. to know that you have it in your body and in your system that you want to put out music ever since I started and, and heard the first hip hop record I heard that made me want to rhyme. To this day, I still feel the same way. You know, I don't care if it's from a new cat I might hear. You know, I hear somebody like a group like the UN from Long Island. And when I hear them dudes rock like the way they do, it still gives me a reason to say, I want to still do it because cats like them can move me out of my spot at any, any time. So I want to be a part of this shit and let them know too, like, yo, I'm here, I'm a part of it. And if we can get down, we can get down. But this the, always first hip hop is competition because that's what an MC is popping shit and that's what I'm known for I'm not a topic dude I don't make stories I do it but I try to stay away from it because I'm like an action movie on wax you go to see the matrix you go to see anything Arnold Schwarzenegger whatever you know it's gonna be explosions stunts and when you hear my music that's what it's about. That's okay. why I do it every day. So we got Radix right here, myself, quite nice seat. You, and you said you would, like I said, it was one of the best groups that I ever heard of. Hey, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what kind of advice do you give for groups to maintain that, that type of connection? Because obviously, you know, you and Tame, unfortunately, lost that connection. You know, so what kind of, like, through your experience, through your years in the game, like, but even not not just us as a group, but just groups out there in general who rely on each other, you know, that one, two men, you know what I'm saying? What kind of advice would you give them? Just always keep your shit out in the open when you're in a, in a, in a group, as far as I feel. You know, it shouldn't be no hidden animosity. You know, if y'all got a problem, you know, speak on it. You know, don't keep it in under your, you know, you know, keep it inside, cause eventually that shit eat you up, and the cat that's with you won't know how you feel. So, and also too, you know, have respect for one another, and, and your outlook on what the group is supposed to be, as far as the main focus. Make sure you stay fresh. Stay fresh, meaning if you got producers that you already work with, don't have them feel salty if you go work with another sound. Because that's what keeps you fresh. Forever, I know that that's what keeps me in this game. Working with dudes like Ilmar, working. I, I don't work. I work with the same producers because I know, like Jay Rawls. Yeah. I know that's a dude that's going to always give me heat. Socrates, a new cat that I work with, and he's an MC, and I respect his. I know all about Socrates. He's from exactly. Canada, right? So, you know, I, I, I try to tell dudes, you know, have a, an open mind and know that if you keep yourself stagnated, you know, you think you're nice. Don't think you're nice. There's another dude nicer than you. Just know that if that dude gonna be nicer than you, you should be neck and neck with him because that's the competition game. That's what keep you in it. So as a group, you look at these people that's involved in your group as to say this is still competition, but we're in a competition with each other to mm. be against everybody else. So, okay. but you also got the inside competition. Yeah. That keep your, your shit on your toes as a group too. So, okay. you know, you working, to say like, all right, if we down together, we all supposed to be dope. So I gotta be almost doper than you. Mm -hmm. But if it goes hand to hand, you, you know, you, you let this man feed off. Okay.